In the previous video, we stepped through the process of modifying your 3DS with custom firmware. If you skipped over that video and don't see a Godmo 9 menu pop up after holding down start and powering on your console, either go back and check that video or work through the steps on the 3DS Hacks website. You will need God Mode installed in order to follow this guide. Okay, now with that out of the way, let's get started. If you haven't already, before going through the process of backing up your games, make sure that each of your games have all updates installed. Especially if you haven't played a specific game in years, it might be a good idea to do it now while you're thinking about it. Just connect to the internet on your 3DS and launch your game. Any updates should install automatically. After updates are complete, shut down your console, then while holding the start button, turn your console back on. At this point, you should be greeted with the God Mode menu, which is just a file manager for your system with a few extra quality of life features. From here, you can access both the data on your system and the contents of your SD card. How neat. If you want to back up a physical cartridge, start by inserting the cartridge while in this menu. After a few seconds, you should see a long name pop up next to the C game cart drive. Using your D-pad, select game cart and press A. If the name takes a while to show up, you can still typically select the drive and everything will populate with just a small delay. What you'll see in this drive is the available data on your game cartridge. For right now, we're only interested in two files, a .3ds file and a .save file, which are the actual ROM for your game and your current save data for that game, respectively. Start by highlighting the 3DS file, press A to select it, and then press A again to select NCSD image options on the bottom screen. From here, it's very important that you only select decrypt file to GM9 out. This option decrypts your ROM for use with other programs and saves the resulting file to the GM9 out folder on your SD card. If you don't use the decrypt file option to copy your ROM, you'll wind up getting a ton of error messages later on. Backing up a single game can take anywhere from one to maybe 30 minutes, depending on the total size of the game. Especially if you have a larger game collection, I'd recommend just letting this run in the background while you go and do something else. Once it's finished, you'll get a screen verifying that the file was decrypted and where the file was saved. From here, press A to return to the game cart menu. If you have saved data that you'd like to back up as well, you can then highlight the .save file, press A, and use the D-pad to select copy to GM9 out on the bottom screen. You will be able to use this save file with current emulators as well. To back up another cartridge, press B to back out of the game cart menu. Eject your cartridge, insert your next cartridge, and repeat the entire process. If you have a pile of original DS games to back up, the process is exactly the same, it's just you don't have to worry about decrypting, you can just copy it straight to GM9 out. As a heads up, if ejecting and inserting a new game freezes your system for a while, don't panic. Simply power off your device and then boot back into God Mode to try again. If this keeps happening, try cleaning your cartridge pins with some isopropyl alcohol and try again. If that doesn't work, also clean the cartridge slot on your 3DS. If you're still getting no progress after that, that might mean that your cartridge can't be read correctly at the moment. Try starting your system as normal and see if you can actually play your game. If you have digital games and updates to back up, the process is very similar to backing up physical cartridges, albeit with a slightly different menu. On the main God Mode screen, press the home button to select Title Manager and select SD Card. After selecting those two options, the program will go through the process of listing all the applications and games currently installed on your system. Within this long list, Update files will be items starting with 0004000E. Games will typically be everything else. To back up a game, find the game you want and press A to select it. From there, select Manage Title, then Dump CDI NDS file. This will back up the game to the GM9 out directory for easy access. For updates, select the one you want to back up, 
select Manage Title, and then Build CIA Standard. This will save the update data as a .cia file to your SD card. CIA files can be installed both to your system and to emulators to update games without the need for an internet connection. Once finished, press A to continue, then hold down R and Start to shut down your console. Once shut down, you can remove your SD card, plug it into your computer, and transfer the files from your GM9out folder to more permanent storage. Once everything's been transferred, you can delete the contents of the GM9out folder and stick your SD card back into your 3DS. And that's really all there is to it. But some extra things to note while you're still in the mindset of using the God Mode menu though. If you'd like to back up system apps instead of games or updates, select NAND TWL from the Title Manager menu and download the apps like you did for the installed game files. An additional tip, if you actually want to play your backed up physical cartridges on your system without having the cartridge slotted, you'll want to build a CIA file using the cartridge. To do this, insert your cartridge, select the .3ds file within the cartridge, select NCSD image options, and choose build a CIA file. This process will take just as long as dumping your original .3ds file. To install the .cia file on your system, go back to the main God Mode menu, press start to reboot your console, open the FBI app once it's booted normally, select SD GM9 out, select the CIA file that you just created and choose to install and delete it. Downloading the game will also take a while, but once it completes successfully, you'll see a new package ready to unwrap on your home screen and be able to play that game without a cartridge. Though, disclaimer, from a legal standpoint, it seems you still technically need to own the cartridge to play the game legally even when it's downloaded like that. Selling or trading the game would technically also remove any ownership rights you might have. But hey, my master's in psychology, not law, so take all that with a grain of salt. In our third video on backing up 3DS games, which we'll have a link to above my head once it's actually posted, we'll go over the basic steps to using those 3DS files you just backed up to set up a 3DS emulator on your device. Some general recommendations and emulation hardware options to consider, as well as an overview of the current state of 3DS emulation performance. Be sure to check that out if you want to expand your 3DS games options even further. And get subscribed so that you don't miss it. If you happen to find this video helpful or informative, make sure to click that like button to let me know. Additionally, if you have any feedback, recommendations for others, or pain points during the backup process, feel free to leave it down in the comments or let us know over on Twitter. If you'd like to support me creating even more guides like this, make sure that you're actually subscribed and maybe consider checking out our Patreon page. Members get early ad-free videos and additional project updates for things like uh, the mount I just designed for the Steam Deck to add a second screen. That's going to be all for this video though. Until next time, catch you later.